Hello good people! We have another exciting video for you guys today, as always. Uh, this video is not going to be tutorial or review or anything like that. Uh, this video is going to be more of a general discussion video, um, almost like a show and tell, I guess. Um, I'm going to be going over the customizations on my MacBook. Um, I did get asked a long, 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 long time ago um, about, you know, how I got this dock or how I got this icons. Because as you guys know, I used to be really big with customizing, but then I got my iMac and then I kind of stepped away from customizing. If you guys look at my more recent videos, I haven't changed anything about my iMac. I haven't even changed the wallpaper. I still use the default Snow Leopard wallpaper. Um, but recently I've been getting back into customizing. I recustomized my MacBook and I'm going to be showing you guys um, customizations I have, where I get them from, uh, how you can get them. And then, I, oh, I lied. I will be doing a tutor tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how to change the icons because going because when they made Snow Leopard, they changed it so that changing the icons manually or whatever it's it's a whole different process. I'll go over all of it. Don't worry, guys. Um, I will have links to all this stuff in the down bar, so don't worry about that. Um, so starting off in the menu bar on the right side of the menu bar, just going over the applications that I have currently running in the menu bar: ScreenFlow, Cloud App. Uh, Dropbox, Time Machine, Bluetooth, Airport, Volume, Battery, Time and Date, and Spotlight. Uh, you guys can see that most of those icons are changed. Um, all those icons come from a much larger icon set. Um, I will, like I said, we'll have a link to that. Um, in that icon set, they have icons for all the popular menu bar apps like, um, uh, like uh, Bowtie or I think Cover Sutra. They got one for Caffeine. Um, so that is a customization that I have going on in my menu bar. Dropping down to my dock, you guys will see that my actual dock is um, different. Uh, the dock that I'm currently using is called the uh, Matt Light Dock. Uh, Matt spelled M-A-T-T-E, as in the opposite of glossy. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Matt stuff, so that's what I have going on in my dock. Um, the icons of my dock, um, most of those are customized. All of them will get customized eventually. Um, I'm not really quite sure what the theme is I have going on in my dock. All I know is that I think it looks cool. Um, so those are the um, customizations on my dock. Going into Finder, the only thing I have customized in my Finder is uh, my Devices section and then my Places section in the uh, left sidebar. Um, I haven't changed the background on my Finder. And I don't really like changing the background on my Finder, although they do have some really cool um, Finder backgrounds, and I will uh, actually include links uh, to that in case you guys want to check that out. Um, so those are actually the more, those are the most visible customizations I have on my MacBook. Um, the next question is where do I get this stuff from? Um, and so the following sites is where I get my stuff from. The first one is DeviantArt. DeviantArt is a really cool place uh, with thousands of icons, thousands of wallpapers, um, thousands of docs, all that good stuff. Um, when you guys go to DeviantArt, you guys want to stick to the uh, customization section. Um, then they have a section specifically for icons. They have a section for themes, and they got a section for wallpapers. Um, so DeviantArt is the first place I get my stuff from. The second place that I used to get my stuff from, but not anymore because no one really um, updates it anymore, is Interfacelift. A lot of people use Interfacelift because they have amazing wallpapers. But they also have a pretty good icon section. Um, they really haven't updated the icon section. Uh, the most the most recent time they updated it, it was um. January 19th of this year, but before that, it was August 3rd, 2008, and then before that was June 3rd, 2000, I'm sorry, the first one was August 3rd, 2009, and then the following one was June 3rd, 2008, and then all the other ones are from 2008, so they really haven't updated the icons um, in over two years. So I really don't use Interfacelift, but I do have some... Um, really interesting um, icons on Interfacelift that you wouldn't be able to find on DeviantArt or anything like that. So, you know, check out Interfacelift. Interfacelift should probably be like the last site that you use. Um, a really good site that I use, and I actually used it for a school project recently, is Icon Finder. You can type in anything and get hundreds of different icons um, for just one thing. Like, for example, if I was looking up YouTube, although I don't really have a YouTube app, um, what comes up is like some really cool, amazing uh, icons. I actually used uh, the soda can icon in a uh, school presentation. So, uh, Icon Finder is actually a really cool site. Uh, the next one is Mac Themes. Mac the uh, under the form section on the Mac Themes, they have a huge form. It's updated with uh, people posting stuff every day. 
Um, you got you know your whole Mac releases, and then you got Mac modifications, and you have um, kind of work in progress stuff. And they even have um, stuff for uh, iPhones and iPods and you know iPads and things like that. So Mac themes, Mac themes is probably your second best after DeviantArt. Mac themes is kind of mo most of the things that are posted on DeviantArt you can find on Mac themes, but not everything on Mac themes is on DeviantArt. Um, so, you know, just check both. Those two would probably be the main that I use. I Mac themes and then uh, DeviantArt. Um, so those are the places where you get the customization. Um, now, how to go about customizing your stuff once you find it? Um, well, there are a couple apps out there like Light Icon. Um, the app I use is Candy Bar. Um, I'm gonna find that in my applications somewhere in here. Yeah, Candy Bar right there. Candy Bar is a you know great application. I guess I can open it up. Won't do that any harm. Um, they have a really nice um, interface and it's really user friendly. They it's really just drag and drop, and then they'll say you need to um, change. You need to like reset your dock or whatever, and you'll just press the button. You don't have to actually go into terminal and type kill all dock. Um, so Candy Bar is definitely the app is definitely the best application to use. It does it's not free though, but I'm sure you guys will find a way to make it free. Um, so that's Candy Bar. I'm actually going to show you guys now how to uh, customize um, the icons, and I will be actually doing the um, Candy Bar icon changing. Um, so in my documents, I do have this um, really nice Oreo bar icon, and I'll use that to replace the Candy Bar icon, as I said. Um, the way that you used to be able to do it, you used to select the thing and press Command-I, and then in the top left-hand corner where it says ICNS right now, you could just copy that and paste that over the uh, get info section of the actual app. So what you used to be able to do is you used to be able to uh, click on that, copy it, click on this, and paste. But now as you guys can see, the I actual icon doesn't change, and it just goes back to the, um, just has like the ICNS, you know, preview thing or whatever. And then to get it back, you used to be able to do Command X, and that works with uh, some icons, but with icons like iTunes and things like that and Dashboard, uh, that does not work, and you actually have to go in manually and change that. So I'm going to show you guys how to go in and change it manually. Um, so once you find your um, icon, you just want to right-click on it, uh, show package contents, go to contents, and resources, and then you're going to want to uh, scroll through here till you see something.icns. Uh, for us, it just happens to be the uh, first one, but um, sometimes it may be at the bottom because a lot of um, companies change or make their uh, icon thing so name something different. Like this one here is App Icon, but uh, for changing screen flow, I believe their thing is called Scarlet, and I don't even know why. Um, so what you want to do is you want to see, find out what the name is. This is App Icon, and you want to make sure that it, the capitalization is all correct. So then I'm going to go to this, you know, the get info part of uh, my Oreo bar icon, and I'm going to type app icon, press enter, and then if I just drag and drop into here, just click replace, exit out of that, I'm going to have to go back to my applications, and as you guys can see right there, um, the icon has changed, and, you know, I'll, I'll even zoom in for you guys. Right there, you guys see that um, the icon ad has changed. Um, so that's really all you have to go about doing. It's really just changing the name and then copy and paste and then, well, dragging and dropping. Um, so that's it for customization on my Mac. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments below. I will answer all of them. Um, I've been better about answering everyone's comments. Um, remember, guys, in the down bar, there will be a link to all this stuff. Um, my name is Matt Fisher. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys next week.